At the courthouse in Chelsea, volunteers spending a second day counting ballots, one at a time. It should always be marked, but I wouldn't assume. They're trying to declare the winner, who will represent six local towns in the House of Representatives come January. On election night, the district split right down the middle. Of almost 7,000 votes cast, Progressive Democrat Susan Hatch Davis trailed Republican Bob Frenier by eight votes. And she asked for a recount. It's taken 20 people two full days to do it. Is this the best way we should be doing it? Well, I don't know what a better, what a best way is, but I know that this way isn't, doesn't work very well. This one of a trio of state house recounts this year requested after election night tallies showed the gap between winner and loser only a handful of votes. In Windsor County, a House race had Democrat Sarah Buxton and Republican David Ainsworth tied at 1,000 votes each, with two ballots still to be decided by the court. It's a very frustrating process. Uh, we've done three recounts. Um, everyone has been done differently. Uh, a lot of leeway is given to the, uh, to the county clerks. Republicans say the Secretary of State should be in charge of recounts to make the process uniform statewide. By the end of the counting in Chelsea late Monday, Frenier was now ahead by six votes, with four disputed ballots still to be decided by a judge and his magnifying glass. This is a win by five, you win by six, win by eight. I'm still landslide Bob. In Chelsea, Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News.